Hello everyone. So I hope you are watching the series and you are liking the videos. We are doing different activities and having fun with science. So today this is our last video of the series of the measuring instrument scientific measuring instrument series. And we have seen or gone through a lot of scientific instruments in the past nine videos. And uh, obviously, we cannot cover all that we have, uh, but I have to. Tr I've tried to cover the most interesting ones, or the ones which have a kind of history to it, or uh, there is an evolution process in these instruments. Uh, like the my most favorite is uh, the evolution of uh, time measuring instruments, the clocks. It was very interesting, right? So yes. I also try to cover most of the basic concepts like uh, mass, uh, weight, uh, volume, or density, etc., which can be a little tricky to understand. Uh, so, what are we going to talk about in today's video? Yes, so in today's video, I'm here to share with you uh, some of the instruments uh, which have made our lives very, very easy or which have brought a very advancement to our lives. Uh, so, the first instrument of today's video is the rain gods. Uh, so, this instrument is mostly used to find out the amount of rainfall in a particular area. But, you will be thrilled to know that it is very easy to make at home also. So, in today's video, I will cover such instruments that are DIY. You can make all these instruments at home. Isn't it interesting? So, while making this uh, rain gauze, you only need a plastic water bottle. Isn't it interesting? With just one plastic bottle, you can make a rain gauze. So, uh, it is very simple. Just take one liter uh, plastic bottle and cut out its neck. Then invert the neck of the bottle into the remaining water bottle and keep it in such a way that it does not fall or it does not even shake while it's raining. So you can keep it in your balcony or backyard and when it starts raining, water is getting collected in the bottle and after that you can measure the rainfall at your place with a simple ruler. It's interesting, right? So, all these instruments, you can make it home and try to use them to find out different things at your own place without getting out from your houses. Yes. So, the second instrument that we have today is the magnetic needle. You all must have seen this. It is a very common instrument. Uh, it tells about different directions like north, south, east, west. And it is also available in a form of an app. You can download it on your smartphones and then use it to find out which is the north and which is the south. But you must be wondering, why do I need this needle? I can just look out of my window, see that the sun is rising and, uh, and that becomes my east. And then I figure out which one is the north and south. Yes, but imagine what will happen at night and the sea. Yes, so this was a very, very useful instrument to the sailors. The ships used to get lost in the sea and if you have sea all around, you cannot make out where we are exactly, right, at night times. So, this was a very, very useful instrument for the sailors. Now, how can you make this at home? You just need a bowl of water a needle, a long needle maybe, a permanent magnet and some foam pieces. So what you want to do is magnetize the needle. So you take the permanent magnet and rub it on the needle for several times till it get magnetized. How will you know if it is magnetized? You can just take another needle and try to stick it to your magnetic needle and to your surprise the needle sticks or attracts another needle or a pin. Now when your um, needle is magnetized, put some foam pieces and leave it on the water in the bowl. You will find that the needle actually changes its direction and it points to the north-south direction. It is very interesting and fun to do. Please try it at home and let me know if you like it in the comments below. 
So our next instrument is a sextant. So a sextant is used to uh, measure the angle between two visible objects. Uh, it is mostly used to measure the angle between an astronomical object and the horizon. So this instrument is also very easy to make at home. You just need a printout of a protractor uh, or just a protractor, a straw, a thread and a nut. And you can make this at home. We also have seen how to make an astrolabe at home in the previous, in some previous video. Uh, so you must be wondering what is the difference between these two instruments. So the sextant can measure uh, the angle in any plane, but the astrolabe can only do it in a vertical plane. We are not just going to go in such uh, great details, but I also wanted to show uh, this instrument, the sextant. And I uh, wanted to tell you that you can also make this at home. Actually, I'm not going into much details of how to make this instrument in this short video, but you can find all the instruction instructions and a very deep instruction manual on our website, the Toys from Trash website or www.argandguptatoys.com. Every single detail of how to make this instrument, how to use them, uh, what to measure and how to enjoy the science behind that is given uh, on that website. I'll surely put a link below uh, in the description box and please check it out. So our next instrument uh, in today's video is this gyroscope. So um, a 3D gyroscope measures the angular velocity and lets us know the orientation. So this instrument is mostly used in airplanes or mostly in the autopilot modes or in ships in the autopilot modes and uh, interesting to make this instrument at home too. You just need an old CD and a thread. Uh, so you can see in these pictures how uh, this instrument is made and you can just twist or just give a rotation to that CD and experience the gyroscopic effect. It is very fun to make, trust me. Please make it at home and see if you like it. Tell me in the comments below. So the next instrument that we will talk about today is a radiometer. So this radiometer uh, is used to um, find out the power of electromagnetic radiations. This is mostly used in um, infrared detectors, ultraviolet detectors, uh, it also can detect visible light. So we can do a very great experiment with this radiometer using a, just a candle or a laser or if you don't have these things you can just take it out in the sunlight and you can see it starts rotating. It senses these uh, electromagnetic radiations. Please try to do it at home also. It is a very fun activity. So the next we, uh, next instrument that uh, I have uh, for today's video is a barometer. So uh, while uh, knowing the instruments that measure pressure, we have seen different instruments and this is also one of the instruments of barometer which measures atmospheric pressure. So this is a instrument which can show you the power of uh, partial vacuums. You also need just a plastic bottle and cut the plastic bottle as shown in this picture and dip it inside a bowl of water. Take it out and keep it erect. Now we will wonder why the water in the narrow portion is rising up and we will be amazed to know the power of the partial vacuum. Make sure the lid is very tight and you, uh, the air is not escaping from your bottle lid. So I hope uh, these instruments are, whatever I am explaining, you understand uh, the usefulness of these instruments to mankind and how these instruments have brought a lot of change in our lives um, and how these instruments are very useful to us as these, as these barometers are used mostly by forecast uh, uh, people, the environmental uh, forecast telling people. Uh, this, these barometers can predict uh, the upcoming um, kind of storms and uh, the uh, atmospheric pressure if it is changing and imagine if we know the storm that is uh, the type of storm that is coming upcoming 
the our lives will be so much easier the nisarga the fayan that recently come all the people if they knew uh, what is going to happen prior we can take the rescue measures accordingly it is so much useful to our mankind uh, then there is one more instrument known, the, known as the anemometer which tells about uh, about the air direction the wind flow uh, and this is uh, the digital version of it uh, this is also very useful in the uh, weather forecast departments then there is a next instrument called as the altimeter this is a very interesting and fun instrument uh, this is the digital version of it uh, this is used mostly by the sky divers to know at which height we are from the ground so this instrument tells us the altitude the uh, the distance the height from the ground or till where the sky diver is actually uh, diving from i found it very interesting uh, then the next instrument that we have today is the decibel meter so this instrument is also very useful it has been recently used uh, this instrument tells us um, about the sound uh, that is produced in decibels through sound pressure so this instrument is recently used in ganpatis right or the police keep on uh, telling you that the dhol pathaks or the big speakers that people use should be less than some specified decibel values so this is a very handy instrument in imagine so much advancement in technology just a handy instrument they can actually go on streets and see if the decibel value is low than the desired one so that so that we don't get our uh, uh, ears hurt so this is the instrument i wanted to tell you because it has been recently used so this is another instrument called the uh, seismograph it is an instrument uh, which tells us or we can know about the earthquakes prior so it senses uh, the change or the change in the tactile plates mo movement in the tactile plates and we can know if the earthquake is coming or the intensity of the earthquake that is coming and this is very fascinating and very interesting that such instruments can save thousands and thousands of lives uh, beforehand we can evacuate people from the areas where uh, there is a possibility of earthquake or floods or storms and all these lives can be rescued and i hope you get more interested in uh, such different instruments uh, get to know more about them develop a curiosity about such instruments and uh, read about them learn more about them and so one day uh, you get to invent or develop such instruments on your own and you get an encouragement or motivation to step up into research and be helpful on ground to mankind and make our lives more easier more advanced and so i hope you have loved this series of scientific instruments and uh, this is not the end i'm sure i'll be coming up with some other series and let me know if you loved all the videos and you love this series please let me know in the comments below keep doing all these activities at home keep enjoying science uh, keep motivated and most importantly as i tell tell you in every video please don't forget to have fun with science so let's meet up next time with some different and more interesting series till then catch up like share and subscribe our channel and let's meet up next time bye